head walk on. How the heck am I going to get in through that? Go on. Good boy. He's like, oh my god. Well, we're in it. He's just refusing to move. Walk on. Bad boy. He's like, what? <laughs> He is going grey. What is this? It's so depressing. <laughs> I was saying that he is 16, so he's not exactly a spring chicken. He's not that old. Hey, buddy. No. Looking down, he's like, oh, but <laughs> crazy times, Ted, crazy times. If you're going to look, can you please make sure your body continues going straight? Thank you very much. We've literally been out less than half an hour. Drop this corner tip because it's a bit difficult. Just had a car zoom right past us. Haven't we made? Yeah, that wasn't fun. The only problem with this bit of road, there's a lot of corners you can't see around. Can't believe how wet it's got all of a sudden. I don't know about you guys, but in the UK it has, it has literally just chucked it down all night. So everything's soaking wet through. Um, the school back at the yard is basically waterlogged, which is why I'm now hacking. So I'm hoping it dries out by Tuesday, so I've got a lesson. Um, but if not, I guess we can use the indoor school, but I think the outdoor's a bit better in regards to the surface and things. But hacking it is today, isn't it, mister? She's not particularly thrilled about. <laughs> Good boy. Yeah, good boy. So I suppose this is our first autumn hack and it is looking very autumnal. Boy, see, there's nothing there. Oh, 
I've spotted a horse from like a mile away. Really? Oh, I think I've got a fly in my mouth. Oh god. So I don't know if you can hear, but the wind has just picked up and it started spitting, so this is going to make for an interesting ride if it starts raining. Keep walking, thank you. He's got a really awful habit of, of doing like a little turn, usually to the right. And then if you don't put your leg on, he just like tries to spin back round. It's not like a nasty thing, he just, he, he wants to turn back home. What was I saying? I completely lost what I was saying. Um, what's up? Are you nodding? Yeah? Okay. Every time there's like a path like that, he just turns automatically. I don't, I don't know why. This route is actually a lot longer than I thought it was going to be. My mistake, Ted. <laughs> Boy, come on. And it's windy, really windy. Ted, please stop veering. Thank you. Come on, my nugget. We've still got miles to go. Good boy. He's basically been over this bridge before and had a meltdown um, and I think it's because there's water running underneath it and it's well quite quite a high bridge and he just hates it to be honest so I'm gonna see how he goes and also he can hear the water quite loudly as well so he's, he's probably not gonna be too keen. Bad boy. I don't know why you go to this side. What are you looking at? Good boy Ted. It's when he gets to the top he realises there's water. There we go. Oh my god, that's scary, isn't it? Good boy. Good boy. Good lad, Ted. Oh, look at his face. That was a mate. Good boy. Oh, I'm so impressed with him. He literally would not go over that last time. <laughs> okay, I spooked at a branch. He would not go over that last time, but now he was brave. It's a branch, good boy. It's getting incredibly cold and I don't have anything on my arms so I hope it doesn't get any colder than this because it is it's yeah it's freezing there's a train coming as we get to the station <laughs> there it is okay so we managed to get over the tracks I've just had to trot him quite a while through that village um, oh my god branches out on my face um, so I'm now just giving him a nice walk up here. I don't know whether to go left or right. If I go left, that's through some fields. Um, the only problem with going that way is that A, it might be muddy and B, there's a small bridge he has to cross over, which um, I don't think he's ever done on his own and he's always really skeptical about going over. Um, but if I go right, then uh, it's on like quite a busy main road. There is a footpath that you can ride on, but people generally don't slow down. There's another train. We're aiming for that tree line. Oh, you can't really see, but there is a tree line. Um, it's not that giant tree thing. It's the long strip of trees. <laughs> I'm so good at explaining. Look at all this corn. That's pretty cool. He wants to get back really fast, but this ground is not ideal. And I get a lot of you would probably have chosen to go on the roads, but um, 
with the weather being like it is and it's still being wet on the roads and there being a lot of like puddles and stuff, I really don't want him spooking. Not to mention he's been this way quite a few more times so I'm just hoping he, I really hope he goes over that bridge otherwise we're kind of stuck. I'm pretty sure there's ditches around the edges of the fields and I don't want to have to ride through that really muddy field in front of us just to get to where we need to be. So at least we've not come too, too far um, if we do need to turn around. So there is always plan B, but ideally we won't go for plan B. Ah yes, yeah, see there's ditches right there. I mean, I could get off of him and lead him over, but the only problem with that is he's 16-1. Uh, and he's very very hard to get back on and I don't know if he'll actually stand um, He would if he was with another horse, but Because he's on his own. He's quite eager to get going uh, And get back home, so I don't really want to risk not being able to get on him because it's like a good Mile walk at least from here. So basically this bridge that's coming up um, goes over that ditch and I don't know if you can see that strip of green grass like the only grass in there um, That's where we have to ride. Good boy. Slow it down. And also there's loads of trees in there, so I just oh, I just really hope he doesn't spook at it. Good boy, right, that's a bridge. You've got to be careful, okay? I don't know if you can see how small that is, it's ridiculous. He actually went over that. I am so impressed with him right now. Oh my gosh, good lad. I literally could not be happier with him at this present moment in time. You're a good lad. So I wouldn't really recommend taking risks like that if you're not um, confident in yourself or in your horse because that's kind of dangerous but I, I'm I was pretty sure that he would go over with a bit of persuasion um I'm just wondering how we tackle this next bit because this is really boggy since we last came down oh my gosh it's so muddy scratch the scratch that will go around it's not quite as bad as it looks it's just the surface that's very very boggy but the rest of it's like stones underneath so it doesn't sink too much Good boy. Good lad. Oh gosh, go around that. Good boy. So stealthy. Slow it down. Good boy, slow down. Slow it down. Realise the water's there then. <laughs> yeah, good boy, you're fine. 